a good day to all of you uh, malinia uh, we today going to discuss on uh, writing a business plan and uh, this topic we already cover in our agriculture entrepreneurship so i assume that all of you already uh, have uh, knowledge to write a business plan and why we are writing this business plan and what is the purpose of this business plan and um, the intention of writing this business plan and so on so let us proceed with the chapter okay the chapter objective here uh, we definitely going to explain the purpose of business plan as i mentioned earlier discuss the two primary reason for writing a business plan describe who read a business plan and what they are looking for explain the difference between a summary business plan a full business plan and operational business plan okay here this in this book we have three type of business plan and we going to even explain why the executive summary may be the important section of a business plan beside that we also going to describe a milestone and how milestone are used in business plan explain why it is important to include separate section on a firm industry and its target market in a business plan explain why the management team and company structure section is a important part in business plan as well as describe the purposes of the uh, sources and uses of fund statement and assumption set last we will look into the detail of the part how to present your uh, business plan so we will guide you to prepare the oral presentation what are the important element that ne- you need to present and the investor or whoever your audience are looking for information that they are looking for okay so business plan business plan is a written narrative typically 25 to 35 pages long that describes what a new business plan at complete okay this business plan have two uh, purpose that's why they say dual use document one is for the internal internal is for the employees and one is for the external purpose external means whoever interested in your business okay uh, in, interested to invest in your business so these two audience will be your um, uh, targeted group for your business pl- uh, plan okay as i mentioned earlier there are two primary audience for a firm's business plan okay they are a firm's employee investor and other external stakeholders who are interested and look that your business is viable so they are willing to invest in your business so for the employees what they looking for in your business plan uh, is simply to guide them or help them operate in sync and move forward in a consistent and purposeful manner so they will work along with your idea with your mission with your vision so that's the reason why employees uh this business plan is uh, important for the employees whereas in investor for them is of course money is the matter okay they will look into the element that uh this business plan is viable or not is viable uh worth to for them to invest in your business so here they put a firm business plan must take the case that the firm is good use of a investor fund or the other attention of uh, people okay so when uh, now we look into the guideline for writing a business plan okay when writing a business plan uh definitely there is a structure structure that you need to follow is uh uh even though it's uh, we call it as a traditional way of writing or conventional or way of writing but it is important for you include those element in your business plan that will be a attracting part for the 
investor okay so on, on this uh, structure of business plan to make the best impression a business plan should follow a conventional structure such as the outline for a uh, the business plan shown in chapter although some entrepreneur want to demonstrate creativity departing from the basic structure of the conventional business plan uh, normally it's a big mistake that they are doing okay so what investor are looking for they are very busy people so they want to have a really uh, critical information uh, already been placed in your uh, business plan okay let me explain again investor are busy people and uh, they want to have some plan that uh, easily they can understand and easily they can get all the critical information that needed for them okay so as you know a lot of software packages are available okay and very interactive and menu driven approach uh, which will guide you to write a business plan some of these programs are very helpful and uh, but but bear in mind people are look for your own idea it's not other people idea so it's better for you use them as a guide and come up with your uh, idea conceptual uh, framework everything in the written business plan so along when you are writing of course definitely you need to give them facts and figures okay so in the form of a chart pie chart or up to you whatever form that you going to put the facts and figure but make sure it's a uh, uh, attractive and very important uh, data that will give a justifying information for your business right now so what will be the content in the business plan okay the content uh, we will discuss uh, in uh, a few minutes time okay the business plan should give a clear and concise information on all the important aspect of the proposed venture it must be long enough to provide sufficient information yet short enough to maintain reader interest for most plan 25 to 35 pages is very sufficient okay so type of business plan in this book by this scholar there is a trick type of business plan okay uh, we will look into it in the following slide so summary business plan full business plan operational business plan okay these are the three type of business plan that earlier we mentioned okay a summary business plan normally it's contained 10 to 15 pages uh, and this summary business plan works best for new ventures in the early stage of development that want to test the waters to see if investors are interested in their idea okay that is the summary business plan the second type is full business plan so normally in full business plan which uh, we're going to do in our uh, class also this semester uh, 25 to 35 pages uh written business plan and uh, this type of business plan work best for new venture who are at the point where they need funding or financing serve as a blueprint for the company cooperation then uh, operational business plan this is quite detailed business plan where it carries uh, 40 to 90 pages uh of uh, written business plan and uh, work best in creating a blueprint of a new venture okay and uh, it will really guide uh, whoever want to invest uh, in the business okay because it's uh, most of this type of business is con uh, uh, consider as a technical part uh, so that's why the operation they call it as an operational business plan which carry a lot of numbers of pages yeah. so and you also should aware and recognize the element of the plan that may change it is important to recognize that the plan will usually change while written 
okay because when you are writing maybe you are a person when you join when you put that idea in the team so there will be a new uh, inside new idea from the team member so you just get ready for uh, the changes okay so new insight invariably a wish when an entrepreneur or team of entrepreneurs immerse themselves in a return the plan and start getting feedback from others so outline of business plan a suggested outline of a business plan is shown on the test several slide most business plan do not include all the elements introduced in the sample plan we include them here for the purpose of completeness Okay, each entrepreneur must decide which element to include. Okay, which element is important. That's why earlier we already say the investor looking for critical information. So all that information need to be placed in your business plan. So definitely, executive summary, we will start with the executive summary, but this will be the last part after you finish everything because this is going to be the summary of all your business plan okay so this will be the ending part even though it's in your uh, beginning section in your uh, written business plan so executive summary is a short overview of the entire business plan as i mentioned earlier investors are busy people okay so they need some uh, limited information but critical information that they really need to know so you have to put in executive summary so that is easier for them this will be the impression for them to proceed with the reading okay and it's provide a busy reserve with everything that needs to be known about the entire ventures and executive summary should not exit two single space pages okay it's a summary okay so keys insight on this executive summaries. In many instances, an investor will ask for a copy of a firm executive summary and will ask for a copy of the entire plan only if the executive submission is sufficiently convincing. Okay, so that's why I say this should be the first impression for the investor to proceed with other. Uh, uh, other section of a business plan. Okay, sorry. Eh? The executive summary then arguably is the most important section in a business plan, as I mentioned earlier. So, section two will be on company description. Okay, company description, the main body of the business plan begin with a general description of the company. Item you need to include in this section is company description, company history, mission statement, product and services, current status, legal status and ownership, and if you have any key partnership. So why uh, company description is important? The insight of having this is while at first glance this section may seem less important than the other, it is extremely important. It demonstrates to your reader that you know how to translate an idea into a business. Section 3. For me, this is very important section where the uh, writer have to be well versed of industry. Whatever industry they want to uh, embark in. Okay, Industry analysis should begin uh, by describing the industry of the business will enter in terms of its size, growth rate and sales proportion. Okay, sorry, sales projection. Item that you need to include in this section uh, definitely on the industry size, growth rate, sales projection, industry structure, nature of participant, key success vectors, industry trend and long term prospect the sustainability of this industry so why i need to include the important uh, on this uh, section is before a business plan select a target market it should be have a good grasp of its industry that's why i say they thoroughly need to know about the industry that they want to embark in including where it is promising area are and where it spoils of vulnerability are okay 
So the industry that a company participate in largely defined playing field that a firm will participate in. So section four will be on the marketing. Um, sorry, market analysis. The market analysis break into the industry into segment and zeros in on the specific segment to which the firm will try to appeal. So the item that need to be included in this section is market segmentation and target market selection, buyer behavior and competitor analysis. Okay. So key insight to have market analysis. Most startup do not service their entire industry. Instead, they focus on serving a specific target eh, market within the industry. It is important to include a section in the market analysis that deal with the behavior of the consumer in the market. The more a startup know about the consumer, and is more better because they will tailor. Uh, the product that really needed by the consumer and uh, service that needed by the consumer okay marketing plan okay now after you are analyze the market now you have to come up with the strategy how do you want to market your product or services so the marketing plan focuses on how the business will market and sell its product or service item to include in this section is overall marketing strategies uh, so we definitely will discuss on the uh, four uh, key so we call it as a marketing mix eh? product price promotion and distribution so key inside again to have marketing plan the best way to describe a such startup marketing plan is to start by articulating its marketing strategy positioning and point of differentiation and then talk about how this overall aspect of uh, the marketing plan will be supported by price, uh, promotion mix, and the distribution strategy. Section 5 will be on the management team and company. Management team and company structure uh, typically consists of the founder and handful of key management personnel. Okay, item to include in this section is management team, board of director, board of advisor, and company structure. Okay. So, key insight to have them in your business plan is uh, this will be a critical section of the business plan. Many investors and others who read the business plan look first at the executive summary, then go directly to the management team section to access the strength of the people in the uh new venture new start so they want to know okay the team that involved okay they are capable of uh running the business or not so that will be the highlight point also here yeah. then section six will be on the operational plan okay outlines how your business will be run and how your product or service will be produced a useful way to illustrate how your business will be run in uh to describe it in terms of backstage, okay, unseen to the customer and front stage seen by the customer activities. So all the activities that will be takes place in your business operating need to be spelled spell, spell, spell out here. Item that need to be included in this section is a general approach to operation, business location and facilities and equipment. Again, key insight to having them in your business plan, you have to strike a careful balance between adequately describing in which topic and providing too much of detail. As a result, it's best to keep this section short and clear. And uh, don't give too much information as well. It's, uh, sometimes it's dangerous. So keep it as uh, simple and sweet. So section 7 will be on a product or service design and development plan okay if you are developing a completely new product or service you need to include a section that focuses on the status of development effort so item that you need to include in this section is development status and tasks challenges and risks intellectual property if you have a path pattern trademark trade secret or copyright that will be added value actually for your uh, business plan Okay, 
and uh, the same time also you need to like foresee the challenges the risks may be take place so and how to uh, avoid them or how to handle that so you need to have that also in your business plan so key insight again to have this uh, section is may, many seemingly promising startup never get off the ground because their product development effort stall or turn out to be more difficult than expected it is important to convince the reader of your plan that this is one uh, have that kind of difficulty okay so that that's why when you are telling them okay what are the challenges definitely there will be a risk okay definitely cannot we cannot say there won't be any risk so we have to tell that how to overcome it so you already have your plan b with you okay so that will be giving a promising uh remark for the investor reader whoever okay reading your business plan very important section that is financial projection okay and uh, for me, I would normally advise the student don't overestimate and underestimate on this section, okay, and give the logical numbers, okay. Financial projection will be the final section of business plan in any business plan, like present a firm pro forma or projected financial statement. I don't need to be included in this section in sources and uses of fund statement, assumption sheet. Uh, pro forma income statement, pro forma balance sheets, pro forma cash flow and ratio analysis. Why we have to have this? Definitely we need to have this so there is no question. You have to provide this in your business plan. Uh, having completed the earlier section on plan, it is easy to see why the financial projection come last. They take the plan you have developed and express them in two financial terms so your numbers will talk to the investor the numbers are the main element it's not a written document it's numbers numbers give you a promising uh, business this business is viable or not okay if the investor want to invest money okay so this section is uh, very important as well all the section actually very important so these are the important elements that need, you need to be included in your business section a business plan uh, written eh? okay now we go how to present your okay written document already prepared but you have to present okay and then presentation need to be catchy and very impressive so uh, so these are the some guide and maybe you can improvise uh, uh, with other readings as well eh? okay the oral presentation the first rule in making oral presentation is to follow direction if you are told to have 15 minutes to talk for more than that allocated time okay the presentation should be smooth and well rehearsed the slide should be sharp and not counted okay question and feedback to expect from the investor you should know this is your business plan you should know how to handle that okay when they ask question you get ready okay give your convincing and confident answer to that so what you need to include in your presentation okay title slide problem solution opportunity and target market technology competition marketing and sale management in financial projection current status financial statements and summary okay these are the so it will be under like uh, almost 12 slide huh? okay uh, so this slide is showing uh, before they want to present they get ready with the uh, uh, presentation the team is get ready with the presentation so that is uh, why we are showing this slide is important of you to rehearse uh, do the rehearsal uh, to gain the confidence level okay so thank you for listening if you have any question don't be assisted to ask me you can ask me in the clip platform uh, take care uh, stay at home be safe and uh, looking forward to meet you soon. Thank you.